Hey guys, it's Erica. We're gonna be checking out NMX's Let Me Like This performance video. Very excited to be checking this out. Uh, yeah, I checked out the stage practice. I think those are cool, but, and I, I appreciate it. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate them. I'm just not always gonna, like, check those out because I, oh, I, I think they're, they're cool and they showcase the skills and the talents of anybody who does them, but, like, I can't react to everything. You know what I mean? And then also, like, they're cool to be like appreciated, but like I, I, I don't also like. There's a lot that I don't check out from groups. Like I don't check out live performances. People always request like live performances or like special performance videos with like um, studio tune and stuff like that. I'm like, I, I, I can't do everything. And and sometimes also seeing choreography or performances. So I can only say so much about a comeback and about a performance and about all this other stuff. So like, because I checked out the dance, uh, the stage practice. I'm not gonna check out the dance practice because that was, it's a dance practice with live vocals. So like, I feel like we saw what we needed to see. Uh, but wanted to check out this performance video uh, for this. So yeah, you know what it like go. Oh, robot arm. I'm like kind of very standard camera work. A nice like, lighting cue change. And they use a camera robot on for very standard shots. I mean they have some fun ones like that. I mean, they have some cool shots. I that's really dope. Yeah, like, there's some very stylistic shots. Dreamy. Takes that they have to do for this. I haven't ever worked with the robot arm because I feel like there's, in terms of movie and television production, I've only not that I watch every single thing that comes out, but I feel like I've only seen one show ever use it, and it's probably expensive to rent. Um, I don't know how expensive in Korea it's in a lot of like K pop stuff, but like, um, I, I would have liked there to be more stylistic shots. They all seem very standard, um, shots that you can get without a camera 
a robot arm, but it seems like it's just easier to do what they did. Like the intro was really cool, but I, I would have, like if you're gonna, <laughs> if I was paying for that, I'm gonna use it and make sure you know. And there were like smaller movements that were really cool, but the most of it just seemed very standard in terms of camera work. So I would have appreciated if you're gonna, if you're gonna use it, use it to the best ability you can. But I think this is very, I don't know, I, I don't know, it's, I, I, I just kind of wish that, again, like, his, I could tell you're using it, so, um, use it to the, uh, to the, use that thing, you know what I mean? Like, let, do some crazy cool stuff, um, that just, like, look crazy, you know? It, it just seems like the shots that they got were a lot easier because they have the robot arm to do, but was not, that, 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 that can be accomplished without, um, the robot arms. So that's kind of like what I, I, I and they could have, there were like so much moments that I would have done a lot of cooler stuff if I had control over what was happening. Um, but yeah, other than like it could have just been a, a regular performance video and stuff. And I don't know if JYP has used a camera arm like that. Um, cause for like got sevens breathe, it, I, everybody thought it was a camera arm, and then I see the behind the scenes video and it's a dude holding a handheld rig. This was not a handheld rig because how do you get above the girls like that? Um, and some of these crazy shots and stuff. So like, there's, <laughs> and he's like in all the crazy cool camera shots and stuff, and stuff I think is like a crane shot. This dude is strapped to like wires and they're just like lowering him down and he's just like getting, it's in the SPA videos for uh, Savage. Um, and stuff like that, and he, what I think he's done with like a crane and stuff, it's just this guy holding a camera, so hire that man, and they have before, so, um, and I don't know if Stray Kids videos have, or it's, it's I think that's the same video team that does the Stray Kids videos, that did that One Got Seven video with the cool camera work, um, so, yeah, I just, I, if, if we're gonna use it, let, let's flare it up, let's use it, and stuff, and it is, it is interesting, and they, the, the more standard shots, they do have a flare to them, because of the equipment that they're using, but I guess maybe we're spoiled so much um, with like Espo's camera work for choreography that when you do have that, we expect that, you know what I mean? Um, but it's the camera work, it just reminds me of like when the robot arm was first introduced into um, the world and stuff and nobody really figured out what to do with it or what you could do with it. It was just a really cool invention and people would use it and stuff and you get these interesting shots and stuff but they're not as like dynamic in a sort of way. Um, it's just like camera here, camera here, do, do, all, it was like that was emotions which are kind of what you get here so like i i think enough time has passed then that we we could have we could flare it up a little bit um so yeah that's just my only thing is i i wish they would have done a little bit more with the expensive equipment that you rent you know if you're gonna if you're gonna use it let us use it go on up here thoughts and comments down below what you thought about and mixes love me like this performance video if you like this video give this video a thumbs up if you liked me and you want to see more of my videos go and hit that subscribe button if you want to see my videos the second they come out hit that notification button if you want to follow me on social media twitter instagram tiktok or description down below or at the end screen if you like gaming content i started a gaming channel it's called erica just games Links in the description down below. My full Resident Evil 4 remake playthrough is up over there, and I will be playing The Last of Us Part 1 and Part 2 very soon. Share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.